Hey guys, welcome back to cycle three. This is week two science experiments. And as a reminder, the first um, semester of cycle three, we're studying anatomy, the body parts, body systems. And last week we introduced the eye and the basic concept of vision and how we see things. And this week we're continuing on that. This week we're focusing on the lens. Um, part of the eye. So it's a short experiment, won't take a ton of time. And so I would spend this time, the time you have for science, about 10 minutes. Um, you could play around with the scientific method and just review the parts of that. Again, we've got our question, then you have background research, then you have hypothesis, then we have our experiment, which includes going over materials, um, and then the procedure, that's all part of the experiment. And then your analysis, where you look at um, your results, and then you can actually make your conclusion. So you could play some memory games with the scientific method since you have a little extra time, and just have, use this week to go over that with a little more in depth what that is, um, why we use it in science experiments and that kind of thing. So then I would review the eye and just the basic concept of vision. Again, light comes from an object, goes through our cornea, through the pupil, which is the dark part, goes through the lens, which is where it's focused. The light is focused in our lens and it shoots it then back to our retina and our retina is where it kind of takes the picture and then it goes through our optic nerve to our brain. Um, we, you could go ahead and talk about nervous system and the nerve sends messages to our brain. Um, our nerve, spinal cord, and brain are the three main parts of our nervous system. So if you wanted to mention that, you could. Um, you, I would show them a picture of the eye again. Um, you could use the same one from last week or show them a new picture of the eye and um, really focus on the lens is what we're doing here. The eye is a fascinating part of our anatomy and is a small part, but um, is huge in the function that it has in our body. So it's another time you could bring in scripture and talk about how every part of our body, even if it's small, um, has a significant role, just like each one of us, even if we feel small or insignificant in the body of Christ, has a significant role to play. Without our eyes and people that don't have their eyes to function, it dramatically affects the way they live um, and dramatically affects the function of the body as a whole. And so likewise, we, um, when we're doing our part or doing our role in the body of Christ, make a huge difference. So you can always bring in scripture with things like that. So, okay, so we talked about your scientific method, review the eye, parts of the eye and vision, the basic role of vision, and then get to today's experiment. Today's experiment's number 70 in our Van Cleves, and it's called Water Drop Lens. And again, we're focusing on the lens part of the eye. Um, the lens is the main part where it focuses um, when the light comes in, it is the main um, piece of our eyeball that actually does the focusing. That is also the part that when we cannot function well on our, or focus well on our own, it may be that our lens is not as elastic as it should be. It may be that our lens is curved a little too much. Um, and that's why some people wear glasses and contacts. So our question today, could be, what do glasses and contacts do? How do they help us see more clearly? It also could be, if you're looking through water, how do things look differently in water? Um, how does water distort our vision? Um, you could also ask, have you ever looked through a magnifying glass? How does it make things different and why do you think it does? So some basic um, questions like that could be where we start. You then give them some research. So again, that's reviewing the eye and the vision. And then they make a hypothesis. So um, 
with this you could say what is your hypothesis today we're going to make a pretend lens using a water drop what is your hypothesis what do you think is going to happen when we have a drop of water and we try to read through it do you think it's going to make the letters bigger or smaller blurry or clear um, what do you think your lens does in your eye do you think um, how does it help you to focus so kind of get their ideas and thoughts and then you're going to do the actual experiment the materials for this experiment will be a six inch piece of wire i will have cut for all the students and then you're going to have them get one of their trusty pencils out they're simply going to take the wire hold it with your thumb wrap it around if you wrap it around twice then it kind of stays on its own you don't have to do anything more slide it off the sharp end and so you end up with this okay then you're going to have little paper bowls i just got this because i had it here with me but though each um each student actually will share in pairs because it's all they do is a drop of water literally so they'll have little paper bowls um, you could have a mom while you're talking, go ahead and fill those with like a centimeter of water, not much. You're going to take your little droplet thing here, just put it in the water and pull it out. Um, it's hard to see, but it just holds a little piece of water there, a little drop of water. And then you will have magazine pieces, newspaper pieces, um, that they can take their little drop of water and hold it over and look through it and try to figure out does it make the um, letters look bigger smaller again blurry or more clear what happens if you pull it away versus if you get close if they're looking through and they're like the letters are smaller um, and that's not what we're going for here we're trying to magnify then you can say, well, actually, let's try that again. We're trying to get something called a convex lens. A convex lens is when it's pointed out. I remember that because V in convex makes a V. It points outward versus concave lens tends to go more like this and its thick parts are on the outside. So convex is a lens that goes like this and the drop so we want a drop to actually kind of be outward turned and when it does that when you get it correctly then it does actually magnify or make the letters bigger um so you could especially with the older kids expand a little bit more on convex versus concave lenses um and again play around with that you'll have each class will have a couple magnifying glasses which use convex lenses to um, to magnify and make things bigger you can talk about why that is convex lenses and it's just because when the light you know normally light comes through here right through our our natural lens when we put the water droplet or another lens in front of our eye the light comes through here bounces through here and bends before it hits our eye. That's called refraction. And so the light comes off of what we're looking at, bends or refracts, is refracted through the lens before it hits our lens. Um, and that's why it distorts the image, making it bigger or smaller, because it actually bends the, the ray of light and how it hits our lens. That is how glasses and contacts work. Thank the Lord for that discovery in my world. Um, because my natural lens does not accommodate like it should and so I am very nearsighted and so use contacts the light comes through here is refracted by my contacts before it goes to my natural lens to be focused even better it works together with my contacts or my glasses um, before it goes to my retina and then to my optic nerve and brain um, so that is why convex um, optometrists actually can use a combination of convex versus concave lenses to make glasses the perfect precise um, 
distortion or refraction that they need to accommodate every eye type, as well as telescopes, uh, microscopes, all of those things use this combination of convex, concave, um, but mostly when it's magnifying or making something bigger, it's a convex lens um, that makes that happen. So play around with that. If you have glasses at home and don't mind sharing, kids can, um, you can bring those and you can have them try it on and see how things look differently. You can use your sanitizer wipes if you want to wipe it down between each kid. Um, or if you have other things like that, other lenses to look through, then you can play around with that for a few minutes. So again, scientific method, talk about vision, go through the steps, um, talk about, make sure you ask their opinion what's gonna happen, analyze your results, and then make your conclusion. Based on the creation of convex lenses, things are made bigger, and that helps us to see. That's how glasses and contacts work. They distort the light as it comes through our eye. Um, and that's why looking through a glass bowl um, at a fish that looks bigger if you look through the glass versus if you look on top, it looks tiny again. But if you look through the glass, it's because it distorts it and magnifies it because of the convex lens. All right, have fun.